It all started with a crazy thought. If you own a 3D printer, you're probably always looking for something you can print. Especially if it's something that you can take with you, right? And use every single day. And that is just what I wanted. And it hit me. Every single day, I get up, I take a shower, I put my clothes on, and the first thing I do before I go out the door is I clip my carabiner on my belt loop. So that's why I thought it would be a perfect candidate to print one instead and see if I can make it as good as the metal one that I use every day. So I'm gonna cap myself at the same amount of weight, roughly the same dimensions, but I wanna make this thing a compliant carabiner. You guys might have seen compliant mechanisms on some other channels. I think Mark Rober did a good video on showing how to make a Nerf gun like that. And so that's what I'm targeting, all one piece using the flex of the plastic. I think it's an excellent engineering challenge, and it's also an easy way for me to keep replacing my carabiner every so often when it fails, without having to go out and buy one. And I get to flash a little swag, or whatever you want to call it, with my logo on it. So with that, there are a few things that I'm hoping to allay in this process. So it has to be able to maintain its shape over a long period of time. So it needs to maintain its springiness. It can't have a lot of horizontal deflection. And what I mean by that is where a lot of times on the metal style, eventually it'll wear out to the point where you can accidentally push the clip where it's not dead center and it won't latch. So I definitely want to avoid that point of failure. I also want to make sure that it can handle a lot of weight. Now, obviously, you don't want to use this for like mountain climbing or something, but obvious disclaimer. <laughs> so that's not the purpose of it. But I do want it to be able to handle any sort of weight from a lot of keys or if you wanted to put a little bit of stress on it here or there. I could spend all day showing you guys all the wacky designs that didn't make the cut, but in the essence of time, I'll just show you the design process for a few of them. Now, it turns out this was much more challenging than I thought it would be. My initial design actually functioned pretty well for what it was, but it was far from perfect. And since my background isn't really mechanical systems, I'm, I'm an electrical engineer, I, I had to kind of just do it by trial and error. And it's kind of more fun that way, honestly. Although I came up with a bunch of wacky designs that were all dead ends. So kind of a waste of plastic and a waste of time. I guess I can say I learned something. In the end, I've actually arrived on a design that I'm pretty proud of. It's pretty, well, perfect with what I wanted in the end. Except I have a few tweaks I'm still trying to make. It, for some reason, I keep having my key ring fall within the compliant mechanism section. So I'm working on trying to make a catch to stop this from happening. I'm also in the process of setting up a testing rig to test out my own ideas, as well as a buddy of mine is actually making his own to compete. There will be a video of tons of breaking carabiners coming up soon. So if you guys have your own ideas, this is my official request for you to send them in as we want a real cutthroat contest. Also, in tandem with announcing now that I just created my Patreon and added a free tier, I will be giving out, at random, a couple prints of the final version of my carabiner to people who are subscribed to my Patreon. You will have to provide your address for me to ship them out, but I was informed by some friends that this was an easier way to handle t contests and sweepstakes, whatever, rather than using the Google Forms and comments method I was doing in the past. I was really excited and I had a lot of parts printed up to give out, and it was a bit of a bust because I really wanted to mail them out to people. And it was just too hard to manage. So I'm hoping this works a little better. Anyway, I'm super excited. I hope you guys found this an interesting video. And I can't wait to get you guys part two with us breaking tons of these. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.